Hey guys, welcome to Restore. My name is Kushal, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the browser cache as well as gzip compression in your nginx file that is lem stack. So I have already written an article on this, which you can refer. So what we are going to cover in this video is how to enable the uh, browser cache in nginx as well as how to enable the gzip compression. So there are certain rules. I mean the configurations that we need to add into our nginx configuration file in order to enable the browser cache as well as gzip compression. So without further ado, let's get started. So first thing that we are going to do is we are going to create a file name which is called as browser cache and we are going to add this rule. So in, in this set of rules, I already mentioned here what type of rule it is, what it does and what is the expiry date. Say for example, like caching the images, uh, icons, videos. So these are all the formats, the MIME formats and the expiry date is set to one year. So let me open my SFTP and even I would suggest you to use the SFTP to create this browser cache file. So let's create the browser cache file under etc nginx snippets. So I already in etc nginx and this is the snippet folder. So let me create a new file. File name I would give browser cache.conf. Okay. And let me copy these all rules until here. Copy. Opening the browser cache config file that we created now. Paste these all rules. Control S, save, close edit yes so we have created the browser cache so we also have something called as gzip compression uh, which we can add in the same uh, snippet folder so we need to create another folder just like we created browser cache we will be creating another file which is called as gzip conf so let me create a new file and name it as a gzip dot conf so the file is created let me open it in my editor meanwhile I will copy these all rules copy and then paste it so all these rules are now added just save and close so finish editing and delete the local file so we have added the browser cache file as well as the gzip configuration file so what now we need to do is we need to include these two files in our nginx virtual host configuration file so let's go back to the main folder and we have a folder called as sites available so this is the default file which we have been using in all the tutorials so we will be using the same file let's open in our editor we need to define two things first is to include the browser cache configuration file and the second is to include the uh, gzip configuration file so and these two both files should be added in the server block directive so this is my server block so these are all the existing rules so i can put it anywhere in here so let me just add it in here so this is the gzip config so it says include include snippets the folder snippets and the gzip conf and the first one was the browser cache copy include paste so these two are now included so if in case if you want to add the commands you can add that uh, this is for browser cache browser caching include conf and uh, this one was for gzip compression so let me save this configuration file and upload it back to my online server via SFTP. So once this is done, all we need to do is we need to restart the Nginx server. So here you can see there is a command. First we need to test it whether my whatever the configuration changes that we made on Nginx are working are successful. And uh, second thing we need to do is restart Nginx server. So I already have my SSH opened. So let me just test my Nginx configuration file. It says uh, syntax is okay and file configuration is successful. So next is we need to restart. So 
just run this command sudo service nginx restart that's it so your website is now enabled with the browser cache as well as gzip compression that's all in this video let me know if you guys have any questions cheers guys thanks